with them. Uh, I guess you can have this. Look, something is behind the vines. Mr. Mr. Totemhead! Huh? What's going on? Mr. Totemhead, we've been looking all over for you. Does this belong to you? My sleeping mask! Your sleeping mask? If I wear the mask, the monkeys can't see I'm sleeping. Then they won't try to steal my bananas from me. Thank you for finding it. Now I can sleep without worries again. You're welcome, Mr. Totemhead. Number nine. Look here. The ground is marked with an X. I think the treasure chest is buried here with the missing duck inside. Here are shovels. Let's use them to dig out the treasure chest. We found it. But that was really hard work. Yeah. My arms are so tired. Let's open the chest and get the missing golden duck. <gasps> Look at all these golden coins. But my third golden duck is not in here. Ah, look at them gold coins. I'll take all, thank you very much. Captain Redbeard! My evil plan worked. <laughs> I took your duck and let you dig out the treasure. So I did not have to do all the hard work. That's so mean. Where is my third golden duck? Here you can have it. It's not even real gold, it's just rubber. We know, Mr. Pirate. It's just play pretend. Well, at least my coins are real gold. <laughs> are you all right, Mr. Pirate? Number ah. eight. Children? Hello, Mrs. Cloud. How are you? We need your help. How may I help you? We need some raindrops from you, Mrs. Cloud. I would love to help you, but I can't give you any raindrops now because I feel fine. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. What are we gonna do now? What's the matter, children? I haven't been able to sleep. Paula taught me to count sheep to fall asleep, but one sheep is missing. We've come to look for it. Oh dear. Mr. Blue Baron wanted to help us, but his plane has run out of fuel. He needs 16 raindrops to get the plane going. He's feeling so sad because he's stranded. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Mrs. Cloud, uh, are you all right? Why are you crying? Oh, raindrops! I can't reach them. Kelp? Great idea. Number six. Why are we supposed to look for balls? I don't understand how it helps us learn about the moon. Number seven. Number eight. Whoa! What's happening, Paula? The gravity has changed. We're upside down now. How can we find room number 11 now? That's number six. No, wait. It's upside down. So it's number nine. I think that's 10. And number 11. Even upside down, it looks the same. Let's go inside. Whew. I think I prefer gravity this way. 
Number five. Hey, Paula, I think the aliens want you to tell them a bedtime story. Hmm, I know. I can read them a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Robot, find more books. Listen, the alien is talking in his sleep. Number four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh no, it's a disaster. Oh, wait, look. Hello, everyone. Meet my children, Choco and Sweets. Hello. We love chocolate sprinkles on ice cream. It's our favorite topping. Nice to meet you, Sweets and Choco. We are here to return you your lollipops. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I see. I accidentally sent them to you. Thank you for bringing them back. It's our pleasure, Mr. Candy Cane Man. The Candy Cane children got back their lollipops, Paula. Number three. So there are two sheep and two haystacks. We found the matching items. So now we need to put the sheep with the haystacks. Let's do it. Let me help you, Tim. Chalk! Chalky! Help us! to return you this lost present. Oh, ho, ho! Indeed, this belongs to my Christmas bag. I was just about to head out to deliver the presents. Well done, children, and Merry Christmas! Oh, ho, ho! Wow! <gasps> Santa, he's gone! Santa is off to deliver the presents. Oh, do stay with us for our Christmas party. We can't thank you enough for all you've done. Yay! Number one. Congratulations, Mr. Squid! 